Okay, so I just uh, made this video, but I forgot to plug my headset in. So I am. Um, this is the second take. So this is a sprint we did at UFC. Um, Damien, Michael Contro, and I ran it together, and it was a pretty fun race, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna play it off. So we can see to number one, basically. Oops. Um, Damien and I went from the left and Michael came from the right. He lost a little bit of time, but that was kind of the route choice. And then to number two, we had the option of going right or left. And I kind of messed up the left. I was too slow and I got caught in a trap um, that I forgot about. And so I lost like 10 or 20 seconds there. Number three to four, we had the option of going straight and back or like kind of zigzagging like this, like straight and then coming in here. I think it was about the same or left was a little bit shorter and faster. Um, number five was a good route. It was either right or left. And right was about 60 meters shorter. And so it was definitely a little bit faster. It also depends on exactly where the control placement was. Because I think it was supposed to be here, but we all kind of ran over here. We didn't have control descriptions or um, controls. I'm going to put it back a little bit. So to number six, the optimal route choice, which was pretty hard to see, was through this uh, little trail. Michael Contra took it, but he didn't quite run to the control, but he did take the better route choice. And I came to the right, and in real time, Damien was catching me because he was a minute behind me, and so he kind of followed me too. So he didn't grab the right route choice on that one. To number eight, the question was, do we want to go from the left or do an S and come in from the right? And it was basically, I'd say about the same time-wise. This one was the same distance-wise. So that was, um, you could only lose time if you hesitated and stopped to try figuring it out. And then um, over here, this was the long root choice. And basically, if you look on the right root choice, it comes more off the line, and then the control is more offset to the left. So definitely coming in through the left and just making sure you hit everything and read all of the features correctly was the better route choice. Uh, number 12, you could come in from the right or from the left. Left was better, it was uh, a little bit shorter. And then number 13 was a really good leg because um, there's about three different options. And I'm gonna replay that one after because we all took a different option. And Damien took the best option. Um, number 14, there's no route choice. Going to number 15, you either have to double back or continue in here. Um, I continued, and I think Damien and Michael basically, whoops, decided to double back around the green. Um, yeah, I hear I was losing out a little bit. This was just a transport leg across to this interesting, more interesting area. Um, here, we all went to the left to 17. And then to 18, I did a little bit of a variation. I came in through here between these buildings, but it didn't really matter. It was exactly the same um, time-wise. And then here from 19 to 20, Michael came straight and then straight, and we kind of took more of a diagonal. I think the diagonal was a little bit shorter and a little bit faster, but Michael wouldn't have lost too much time. I think only about two or three seconds in all. And then the rest was just running. And I was about a minute and 20 seconds behind Damien and Michael. They were both, um, I forget exactly what their time was. But it was, it was good. And I was really happy with um, the run. I need to speed it up a little bit for Jaywalk. But I think uh, running track for the rest of the season will do pretty good. Um, help me with my speed. OK, so I was going to show, we can look at 7 to 8, because this one, if we mass start everyone here, this one was quite interesting. And we can see how me and Michael um, come from the right, and then Damien comes in from the left. We all make it there at give or take the same time. And then we continue off to the next one, and we kind of get there at the same time. So because they were very equalized, um, it didn't quite matter. But that was still very nice um, that you had to think about it, I think. The next uh, interesting one was 12 to 13. There was about three different route choices. So Damien hit these stairs, which was the fastest one. And then I came down these ones, and Michael Condro came around the left side. 
So I forgot about these stairs, um, even though I had mapped this area because it was a new part of the university around the engineering building. So yeah, it was, um, it was good. Whenever I make these courses, I try not to like think about and look at all of the root choices. So I actually managed to make like four or five uh, worse root choices. Um, so yeah, it was a very good training. And I'll leave it at that. See you in the next video.